What's up everyone, my name is Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today, in partnership with TLR Esports, we've got another QPad review. Now, we have actually already taken a look at a couple of other QPad products. The keyboard and the mouse, I've got them sitting over there in the background. And I must say, they were a little bit underwhelming. This QH92 though, on the other hand, stay tuned because this one, this one actually impressed me. So, the QH92 is their pretty much top tier gaming headset. They advertise this as a pro gaming headset. This box comes in here. This gaming headset comes in at about 70 pound here in the UK. Um, 80 euros, I think it's about the same in dollars. A few different retailers have got it. I will put some links down below as to where you can get one. But let's start off by getting into the box. Now, packaging was one of the things on this product that was actually quite surprising. The other stuff is basically just like slapped in a box. This, so out of packaging with all of your usual info about what it actually is. And then you get a nice box inside, which we will crack open and get into. Now, it does actually say on the front, brings hi-fi to the game. Um, bold statement, so they're, they're making a rather large bold statement on their audio quality to start off with, but we'll get to that later. So, open up the box, we do get an instruction manual, don't really need it, it's relatively easy to use, and then underneath a little bit of foam, we have the headset and the included accessories. So we'll start off with the accessories that you get in the box. They include a removable 6 inch or 150mm or 15cm microphone that plugs into the headset. We do also get a remote control, I say remote, a wired in button box effectively. So you've got an extra 4 foot of cable on that, two jack plugs on the end. We'll get into what it does a little bit later on. And then if I pull this out, we've got a few more cables. They do actually include a little, uh, well, I say splitter, it's actually a combiner. Go into that as well later. And the headset itself. So as you can see, it's actually packaged incredibly well. All nice, professional, very shiny. You, you If you've bought this and you open this up, you think, you've, you think you're getting your money's worth. It's uh, packaging doesn't make the product itself any better, but it makes the product experience better. And I think QPad have actually done a pretty decent job on this. So this is the headset itself. If we just untangle this cable, it does actually come again with this one's about a five foot cable. Okay, with a pair of jack plugs on the end. So so far it seems relatively standard. They are color coded, so you have green and orange, or in other words headphones and microphone. It is a silicon cable and okay, yeah, you're normally used to seeing braided cables nowadays most of the time on products like this, but this silicon cable is incredibly soft, incredibly supple and incredibly flexible. So yeah, people like braided cables, but actually in a use case scenario like this, it's not gonna get caught up on anything. It just sort of slides. And it's not going to sort of like snag because it's very flexible. So yeah, I'll let them get away with the silicon cable on this. It is actually a sort of like a single cable down to about the last nine inches where it then splits out into your two. So you've got a bit of distance between the two should you be using um, sound cards and things like that where they have to be plugged in separately. They do also include in the box, as I said earlier, a combiner which um, turns your two three and a halves for headphones and microphone into a single four pole three and a half for things like mobile phones, Nintendo Switches, mobile phones that have got a headset jack that is. So yeah, if you're into big gaming in your Nintendo Switch, yes, this will plug in. So back to the actual headset. So we've got a largely metal construction. Okay, so the headband itself, yeah, metal, all, all metal around here. We do have aluminium plates here on the side. They're brushed aluminium with the QPad logo. Quite professional looking. No bling bling RGB or anything like that here. It's all been done to be subtle and to fit in with pretty much any style of setup that you've got. So QPad branding is quite pr pronounced on this. We've got the Qs on both headsets. We've got QPad QH92s on the sides here. You've also got 
Q-pad emblazoned into, embossed should I say, sorry, into the faux leather on the top. So quite a lot of Q-pad branding, but I say there's a lot of branding quite subtle in that it's all, it's not flashy flashy. The headset itself is an over the ear design. They are a closed back design, which does mean that basically once you've got them on your head, you won't be hearing what is going on outside. Closed backs also do mean that those around you won't on the whole be listening to what you're listening as well. So one thing you will notice, cable does go in one side and you've got these two little braided loops here. That is actually the cable that carries the audio from one to the other. Do be careful of them. You'd have to be pretty daft, you'd have to basically pull the cables physically because there's no, the limits on everything mean that it never gets tight. So you haven't got to worry about it, you just, just don't pull them by those cables. So that is most of the headset itself. We have missed out the covers themselves. So the earmuffs on this, they are faux leather, very soft and very good at isolating out sound. So once you've got these on your head, hearing what is going on around you, pretty much non-existent. Um, same faux leather on the top of the headband. And as I said, there is full adjustment up, down, and these do tilt in and out. So they should pretty much fit any sized person and any sized head. So the only other thing you've noticed now at the moment, this is just a set of headphones. To turn this into the headset, you take your little microphone with the three and a half inch, uh, three and a half mil pole plug there, and it just slots into the left hand one. And then with a firm push, you get a click and it sits flush. Now, this microphone is flexible. It is actually really, the flex on it is actually quite nice. It's easy to bend to whatever shape you want and you can put like double bends and things in it and it does stay there. And it's just the right length in that once I put this on, it will just sit there and it just sits the side of my mouth so I can have a drink without getting it in the way, things like that. It's also got a little foam pop filter on the end, which just helps get rid of your pus, your put, your pops, and things like that. So, I have actually taken an audio recording of this microphone, which we are going to play now, so you guys can see what you think of the microphone on the QPad QH92. So, this is the test of the microphone on the QPad QH92. So far, all seems rather good. So there we go guys, that is the microphone on the QH92 and as you can see, it's pretty clear. Okay, no, it is no studio mic quality microphone. It is a gaming headset at the moment, at the end of the day. This is primarily aimed at in-game chat. Now, I did actually get into a few games while wearing this and asked random people basically what they thought of my in-game audio. Nobody had any complaints at all. Now, speaking of audio quality, so microphone, yeah, that passed the buck. The actual stereo sound on this, now this is just stereo sound on this, was slightly different. Um, no complaints, very good. However, it is just a stereo headset with a single pair, just so one in each, of large 53 mil drivers. What does that mean? Now these are big drivers. They are capable of very big sounds, definitely. Like, turn these all the way up, they will make your head hurt. However, I did find they were a bit on the bassy side, which for gameplay, yeah, not a problem. Um, if you're gonna go and play some classical radio, probably not the best option. Now, they were pretty good at picking up all those little sounds that quite often get missed out, and they were still there at both the loud and quiet volumes. There was no hissing or buzzing or peaking at loud volumes, and again, at soft volumes, the quiet stuff was still there, but they were a bit bass heavy. Um, they These are a gaming headset at the end of the day, and I found most gaming headsets, dedicated gaming headsets, to be more bass orientated than, say, neutral. Um, now, my primary headset myself is a set of AKG Studio headphones, and they are a very neutral tone to them. These, a bit more on the bassy side. Um, in game or anything like that, no complaints at all, and even listening to music, it wasn't until I did like back to backs could you really notice the difference they were definitely very good. So again, audio quality, big thumbs up. This has pretty much managed to tick all of the boxes. It's a 72 pound gaming headset. The sound quality for gaming and listening to some music, um, perfect. It's not a classic music headset, but then if you buying gaming headsets, probably not really gonna be listening to classic music on the whole. Um, 
microphone, perfectly good for in-game audio. Would I want to be use, using this as a microphone for streaming? No, probably not, but what I would be doing is using this for my in-game audio in a stream and having a separate condensed microphone. These are never really, you could, but it's not, you, you can get better microphones, but then you'd be spending a lot more money. You'd be spending about the same, or at least the same price as just this headset on a microphone. So there we go, that pretty much covers it. Oh, we did miss one other thing. We missed out the little remote control cable that they gave us. So as I said, this comes with another sort of like one meter, three foot, four foot cable. A few little bits on it. So what you do is you simply plug your color coordinated plugs into one end, orange into one, green into the other. This end then just plugs into your computer as normal. Same silicon cable, okay? So there is actually a, a little sort of like a, I don't know, a widget here, um, lump of rubber, just to stop this bit from splitting out too far. It's only, as it comes from the factory, it only split out a few inches, which should be more than enough. Um, and then onto the actual box itself, you've got three options, basically. So on the right-hand side, we do have a volume slider. Okay, so just an up and down volume slider. You do have a big button in the middle, which we'll get to. And then on the other side, we have a volume uh, microphone mute and so basically an on off button for the microphone. This button is a momentary switch for the microphone. So press and hold turns the microphone off. Or in other words, you can press and hold and turn your microphone off while you have a conversation to somebody in real life or a quick conversation, a quick yes, no, hello, or whatever. Hold the button, talk, let go of the button. Or if you're streaming or using a dual microphone setup with um, whatever and you don't want the people in game listening to this microphone while you have a chat with this on Discord with somebody else, you press the button and you can still then have a conversation without in game knowing. Um, however you want to use it. But yeah, just a temporary switch. Actually, this little box I quite liked. Um, I did actually find myself using that button a few times. Somebody pops into the room, you say hello. You can let it go and carry on. Um, so overall, the QH92, I must say, when I first got this out, I was thinking, oh, okay, it's just going to be like the other products, which, to be fair, for the money, didn't impress me. The QH92, though, on the other hand, actually really impressed me. £70 is medium to upper end of gaming headsets. Yes, you can buy cheaper ones. But at £70, it definitely is actually capable of holding its own. The audio quality for the, as a headset is good, and the audio quality of the microphone is more than capable of standing up to playing games. So I'm actually going to give this one a big thumbs up, and I'm hoping QPad can carry on this quality, price point, and everything with the rest of their products. I do know they have a, another keyboard, an MK95, which is a bit more expensive than the 75 but that actually throws some really interesting features into it. So I'm gonna actually try and get hold of one of those because Cupad as a brand do appear to definitely have the potential to produce some great standout products. Just a few of them seem like they've taken something off the shelf and slapped their brand on. This doesn't seem to be one of them. This does actually seem to be a really good product. They have definitely got a good one here. So as always, I'm gonna put some links as to where you can buy one of these down below because I'm gonna give it a big thumbs up and say if you're in the market for a gaming headset, at 70 quid, definitely check it out. And as always, if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down, not a problem. And as always, if you wanna see more of me, click that little subscribe button. Thank you very much and bye for now.